I'll move on to our third panelist, um, Grace Kamau. Grace, we often hear the, the word nothing for us without us. What are the best practices to ensure that key populations and their representatives are engaged in the design, implementation, and monitoring of KP services? Are there any success stories that you want to share? Over to you, Grace. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for your question. And um, I'd like to go straight to the answer and straight to we as sex workers and as key population, uh, we believe in nothing for us without us. And I want to say that um, sorry, um, uh, sex workers, uh, lived realities are important when it comes to uh, design, implementation, and monitoring of key population services. And when I say this is um, uh, one of the best practices we have seen and one of the things that we have seen working very well uh, for us communities, when you look at the global fund implementation, we have seen that uh, key population get a seat at the CCM, the Country Coordinating Mechanism. And uh, as key population, we understand the processes of of global fund and how global fund works. Uh, these are models that have worked. Are these things that uh, other funders or other, other funding mechanisms can borrow? Because at the end of the day, we see ownership. We see uh, community owning the process and community even understanding uh, the processes of, of global fund. And we've seen a lot of uh, key population organization um, in Africa benefiting from, from, from global fund. And this is because we have our community sitting at those tables and communities understand. And so the information is brought back to uh, the key population. Another example I want to give is the KPIF, uh, the Key Population Investment Fund that started uh, a, a while back, but it strolled down. But now we saw it being rolled out and communities were involved from the design the implementation and also the monitoring. And one of the things I have been, I have had from community members, mostly the sex workers, is one, we have seen PEPFA saying that uh, um, they, are, uh, they, they are happy that uh, sex worker-led or key population-led communities were involved in the implementation of KPIF. And there have been a success that uh, numbers of key population who have been reached has gone high vis-a-vis -vis the time they were using implementing partners. And with these learnings, are these learnings that we can take uh, along and see how do we engage communities more? Because we as communities, have learned over time and have lived realities that we know how to get our communities and we know how to uh, program for uh, our communities. And when it comes to monitoring, we have seen our communities monitoring uh, progress of, 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 of projects. I also, I also want to, to go back to the Global Fund. We have seen uh, uh, oversight committees that are set up in the different countries. And you have seen a key population communities representing communities in those oversight committees. And you have seen a lot of, um, a lot of gains when it comes to the monitoring of projects. I also want to say that we have seen a lot of engagement. When you look at the COVID, um, uh, COVID uh, when COVID came, sex workers and key population um, have lost a lot when it comes to like livelihoods, bars being closed, lock, uh, and also curfews. And so we've seen uh, most of our key population shying away from accessing services. But we have seen, uh, I want to give an example of a, of, of a sex worker-led community group we work with in Senegal uh, that has engaged the government very well. And we have seen instances where the government is working very closely with sex workers, even giving uh, food, giving uh, PPEs to sex workers to be able to, to respond to COVID response. We have also seen some of the groups in Kenya responding very well uh, in responses of COVID due to the involvement and the engagement of, of government in the response of, 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 of COVID. And so by this, we are saying nothing for us without us because we as communities know where uh, the shoe hurts most and we know where to get 
support uh, our communities um, easily and how we can be able to program better. And finally, I also want to say that uh, uh, I think a lot of, uh, uh, we need a lot of uh, capacity amongst our population in documentation, documentation of these processes, because uh, we, we say this has worked, but uh, how can we be supported in documenti documenting success stories of how implementation and success stories on implementation that has worked for our communities? Thank you.